Hey, in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the best practices for booleans and how to make it easier to clean them up. Using booleans can be super useful if used correctly, but can create a real mess in your topology, which can be a real pain to clean up. Say you wanted a cube with a sphere-like subtraction from it. You might create a cube and your sphere. Then you'd want to just use a different boolean modifier, which you can do by selecting your objects. Make sure you select the main mesh first, hold shift and right click and go to booleans difference. So now you can see we have the effect we want, but to get this to a place where we can actually subdivide it, it's going to need a lot of work. So there's actually a little bit of prep we can do prior to the boolean, which can help us in the end to get the result we want much quicker. As you can see, now if we hit free to smooth preview, we're nowhere close to a good looking mesh. I mean, unless this is what you're going for. Right, so I'm just gonna draw out a new cube. This time, I'm actually just gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna smooth it. So if I go shift and right mouse, smooth, and I'm just gonna set the divisions to two. Holding V on the keyboard uh, for snap, I'm just gonna snap it to the corner. To make our lives easier, let's add some more divisions to our base cube. Because as you can see, um, if we go over to our other mesh, when we try and draw our edge loops, you can see that the loops are ending early because of the end ones. So on our new cube, let's just draw out some edges with the multi-cut tool. Great, and then let's boolean again. So you can already see how this is much cleaner. We don't have a bunch of triangles forming at the edges here, and we have a bunch of edge loops on our cube to clean this up. Right, so using the edge loops, which we added prior to the boolean, I'm just gonna clean it up, which should be relatively easy, probably something like this. I'm just gonna use the target weld tool, so shift, right click, target weld tool, and then let's just weld these two edges, and then we can just fix this end gone with the multi-cut tool, and just cut across it like this. And then just uh, continue this for the rest of the mesh. And we have some nice quads. So when we now when we press free on the keyboard, we get a nice effect. And we can actually add some bevels for some sharp corners. And there we go. This approach to booleans, rather than just rushing in with basic shapes, makes our lives so much easier. Maybe initially a little slower as we have to pre-think how we're going to want our topology, but this is way more painless than having to fix whatever the hell that is. Awesome, so I hope you found this quick tutorial on booleans useful. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.